The top three niches that you should pick from for your social media marketing agency in 2020. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I had just put up a uh, basically one of those question posts on the Instagram story saying, you know, what is your biggest struggle uh, with your social media marketing or, you know, basically preventing you from starting SMMA. And someone basically said um, that they did not know which niche to choose from when starting out. And this is literally a guy who has no agency, he is considering starting, you know, he's he's done a bit of research, but the one thing that's holding him back from starting an agency is because he can't pick a niche. And I was like, like, how can something as minuscule as that prevent you from going after your goals and trying to reach your goals? But obviously, you know, when starting out, it can be quite daunting. You know, you've got so many industries to choose from, so many niches, so many different types of clients, and you've also got so many different types of videos online. This is going to be one of them, you know, basically uh, preaching which niche is the best to uh, choose from when starting out. And then you've got people, people on LinkedIn saying that, they, you know, you, you need to focus on real estate. You've got uh, some of the bigger agencies, if you will, uh, saying that you need to focus on info products. And, you know, everyone's basically got their own opinion on it, but no one's actually saying, you know, no one's basically giving like a nuanced answer to it, you know, to what is actually the best agency or best agency, best niche to choose from. And in this video, I just want to give you guys like a sort of top three, um, explain my experience with niches and if you should actually niche down or not, because obviously that is something that is up, up for debate as well. And I have also stated my opinion on this a couple of times, uh, but without rambling on too much, before I actually start this video, if you are not already subscribed to this channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. Why? Because it really does help this channel grow and it really does help me uh, be able to reach a larger audience, which I can then provide value to and also help out and help them uh, live life on their own terms, provided that they follow uh, everything that you know I basically teach. Okay, so now with the shameless plug out of the way, we can actually get started with the video. So when starting out, or when I started out with my social media agency, I did not have a niche at all. Um, I literally just reach out to everyone and everything. Why? Because I did not know which industry I could get results for. I did not know which industry I like working with. I did not know what type of clients I wanted. So I literally just reached out to everyone and everything, hoping that someone would say, you know, yeah, fine, take me on as a client. And then basically my thought pattern was, okay, the first clients I get, I'm just gonna reach out to duplicates of that client. So let's say I, um, let's say my first client is a dentist. From there, I'm just gonna reach out to more dentists. You know, it's literally the same as Facebook ads. You know, you get, um, uh, basically you get like, let's say 10 purchases or 50 purchases, and then you run a lookalike audience of that, uh, that list. And that is basically what um, my pattern or my thought pattern was in terms of getting started get one client, see what niche that client is in, and then find more clients in that same niche. Turns out that literally my first, well, probably my first like six, seven clients were all different industries ranging from recruitment agencies to um, like entrepreneurial, barter, network groups to uh, what else did we have? A mind coaching workshop, a arts and crafts course. Uh, what else did we have? We had um, a fitness app. Um, we had a, a other app. What was it? It was like a, basically like an Arabic um, version of Alibaba. Like literally, like the most like all these different industries and niches. And uh, what I came to realize was that there was not necessarily a specific niche that I like to work for. It was more a type of person that I was basically looking for. You know, I was looking for someone who understood social media marketing, had the patience to invest into both um, social media marketing and me as an agency, and basically had like, a vision into where to go. Like, they weren't necessarily um, wanting a direct return on investment. They wanted something for the long run. Okay, so that is basically the type of person I wanted to reach out to and work together with. With that said, um, I also wanted someone that didn't feel the need to micromanage me and basically treated me with the respect 
um, I thought I deserved rather than just treat me like a glorified uh, freelancer. Obviously, that is something that you do need to sort of, um, you know, earn. You can't demand that type of respect. You do need to earn it over time. And if you get the right results, then, you know, you obviously will actually get that respect that you think you deserve. Now, with that said, uh, that is not what this video is about. That's just a quick backstory to me in terms of how I chose uh, my first niche. And I still think I don't actually have an actual niche. Like I said, I look for a, a type of person. And now, uh, so we've, we, I've, for a while, I went from... Uh, e-commerce then I went to info products and now we're actually getting like a lot of really good results for lead generation clients um, of like brick and mortar businesses the reason why I went into that was literally because of the ease like how easy it is like literally minimal effort um, lead because I, I know now how to set up lead ads I know how to optimize them I know how the copy works I know how to build out a funnel you know it doesn't take me that long to do it anymore and I can help business by by setting it up i can get results for businesses by setting it up and you know they are paying me good money to set it up so it's like a minimal effort type of niche for me lead generation and obviously i'm going to put it up on the screen now the amount of lead generation type of clients and industries there are and like i said that i don't necessarily pick one out if i do let's say i get four or five car dealerships or four or five dentists or anything like that then maybe i will consider tweaking my um business towards that and sort of tailor on all of the the branding online towards that but other than that you know lead generation is for me it's all the same it's the same type of flow same type of funnel all i do is switch up the theme switch up the copy and the rest is history so in terms of like what kind of industries or niches you should start out with um it basically you've got the two big main like industries haven't you? you've got e-commerce which is online sales and then you've got lead generation which is basically getting leads that that business then closes or tries to get in as a client or customer so when you look at e-commerce there is a lot of different types of variations and strategies and tactics that come into play which when starting out might seem a bit daunting intimidating or just difficult to pull off so when you're starting out i think personally that re uh, not real estate lead generation is probably the easiest way to go okay so again as a beginner i think that lead generation um, should probably be the first type of niche or industry, if you will, to reach out to. Then when you get a bit of experience, you can look into uh, e-commerce, so online web shops. These are a little bit more difficult to get results for if you do not know what you're doing. Again, you know, it, as soon as you're an expert at any type of industry or niche, it's easy, okay? But it's, I'm just looking at it from a beginner's perspective. So when you're just starting out, it can feel a bit difficult, e-commerce. It can seem a bit intimidating at first, but uh, like I said, once you have that experience with Facebook ads, you know the business manager inside and out, um, you know, you've gotten guidance, you're up and running, then yeah, you can look into e-commerce. Why? Because the return on investment could potentially be much, much bigger. With a, let's say, a, let's say you're running ads for a restaurant. You know, there's, there's not a big profit margin for restaurants, so there's not much room for you to scale, and there's, uh, it's difficult to actually get higher retainers. Whereas with um, info products or with e-commerce, you know, if you're helping them scale and you're getting, you're consistently getting them a ROAS of let's say three, four, or maybe even five, then you know, it's you, you can literally scale a web shop to the moon, and your retainer can then increase because of that result. Okay, so because the, there's much more uh, room and reach with e-commerce and web shops, there's much uh, more, there's a bigger, bigger possibility of you uh, being able to ask for a higher retainer or you can ask for a percentage of the return on ad spend or the return on investment, okay? So you can say, for example, okay, we have a retainer of a thousand a month, but we also require 10% of ad budget over 10K. So, you know, you basically get an, an additional 1,000 if they spend 10,000, um, you know, euros, pounds or dollars within the ads, okay? Obviously, you can only do this once it's actually profitable and they're getting a good result, etc. You can start asking for stuff like this or, if you know it's a gigantic web shop that want to scale, you can you know suggest this as a, a sort of uh, you know part of your retainer. Just say, okay, listen, I won't go for a 5k retainer. I only ask for a 1k retainer, but I do ask for a percentage of the return on ad spend. Now, if you are a good media buyer and you know what you're doing, then that can actually be more profitable for you in the long run. Okay, so I suggest starting out with lead generation. 
then once you get the experience and you know what you're doing, look into e-commerce, okay? Now, in terms of lead generation, um, you know, what type of industries within that sort of uh, you know, part of Facebook ads um, or SMMA, if you will, um, is easy to get results for. Like I said, uh, I've just literally put the entire list out of different industries that you can uh, reach out to and you know, literally get results with Facebook ads by doing lead generation. And it's basically up to you to decide which type of client, which type of business, and which type of industry you are passionate about, okay? If you know a lot about cars and you are passionate about cars, uh, maybe you've even worked for a car dealership, then pick a car dealership. You know, you know the lingo, you know the language, you know how to speak to those owners, then just pick that because there's no, there's, like everyone says like there's a specific, like, there's no secret to what industry is the best or what, um, you know, what client is the best. You just need to pick one that you are passionate about and that you are knowledgeable about. If you know a lot about fitness and you, um, you know, love speaking with people about fitness, then you know, hit up uh, personal trainers, hit up gyms, and ask them to do, ask them if you can do lead generation for them. If you are passionate about, I don't know, dentists, you know, passionate about teeth, then you know, reach out to dentists, and the list goes on. Okay, so rather than think about which industry is the best. Think about yourself, think about what industry would you like to work with. And like I said, in terms of which part of SMA is easier, lead generation when starting out is easier to get started with. Once you know everything, then you can look into e-commerce because e-commerce has a um, higher ceiling, if you will. So you can actually get better results for e-commerce and you, know, you can actually scale your agency with and along with those web shops. So like I said, you can ask for a um, percentage of the back end rather than just asking for a front end one time fee every single month, um, which, you know, what you usually do with lead generation. Okay, so that is all I've got for today, guys. I hope you got something out of this. If you are wanting to get started with social media marketing and you basically want my help, in you know, literally getting helping you get that first client, helping you get up and running, and help you scale your agency. Then I do offer coaching. It will be linked in the description box down below. What you get for the coaching? It's a monthly subscription. It's literally buttons. Uh, if you compare it to the money you actually get from getting your first client, um, what you get is personal access to me via WhatsApp. You get personal access to like the WhatsApp mastermind group. You get access to the live coaching course every single week. And you also get access to my Lifestyle Design Mastery course and all that, like I said, for a small monthly subscription. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.